Hi, I just wanted to show you how to make my all-time favorite um, um, to torta crust. And it's just something I've been making for years and years, and I, I, I use it for like almost everything. And it's just flour and olive oil and wine. I learned how to make this um, when I was in Liguria, and I saw that, that they did this uh, Swiss chard tart with an olive oil crust, and I got very intrigued, because I didn't really grow up with this kind of thing. I never, I never had seen it before. But anyway, so um, they make it there, and they make it in, in Southern Italy, and I make it all the time for, like, I do the, the um, Swiss chard tart, I do escarole t um, torta, I do mushroom torta, I do, you know, spinach, I do tomatoes, I do, I do it with sweet, su sweet stuff I just do with fruit. I mean, it's really excellent. So what I'm trying to do is dig out this flower here. So it's about, you know, this is a really forgiving um, crust, which is why I love it so much. I mean, this is about a cup and a half, a cup and three quarters flour. I mean, that should be enough for like a nine inch or an eight inch um, tart pan. So anyway, that's in there. So we start with that and then salt. I actually put more salt than you'd think because I, it, it's good a little salty. And then um, I often put a little bit of sugar because in Southern Italy, a lot of times torta sh sh um, crusts are a little bit sweet and I like it in here. It also gives the crust a little bit of brown. And for this one, I just, for some reason, I thought it would be nice to put a little fennel seed. I have to grind this up a little more. That looks pretty good. So put that in. Oh, oh man, that smells really good. Um, so that's that. And you just stick that in. And then what you want is about, for like a cup and, let's see, what is this? A cup, a cup and three quarters flour. I would say like about quarter cup of good olive oil. Not great olive oil, you know, something decent like this California um, ranch olive oil is really good. So maybe like, uh, that looks about right. Maybe a little more, who knows? Okay, that's, that, we might add a little more later. You have to see, because that looks good. And then what you want to do is, I mean, in Southern Italy, they usually add water, but I found that adding um, some kind of booze, like white wine is good, vermouth is good. I've even, once I made this with um, uh, gin and a mix of water, so let's see, like, what you want is like, like a little bit, or the ratio is like a little bit more booze to uh, flour. That's probably right, but we'll see how it goes. And then all you have you to do to is... oil? What? You mean more booze to oil? Yeah, what did I say? To flour. Oh, yeah, yeah, more booze to oil, right. So the, what you want to do is like start stirring it around. See, this is coming together pretty good. And you kind of get an idea whether you need a little more liquid. And I think I need like, maybe like a drop. That's more than a drop, but that's good. Just a little bit. See, when it starts to get into like a sort of like a mushy, raggy kind of look. Freaking, oh, this is gross. Then you start working it with your hands. This is looking really good, actually. Okay, hold on. Let me just move that. Okay, and I'm left-handed, so I should really do it the proper way. Okay, so pull out what you've got that's stuck together and get rid of that. And and then see what you got. This is looking pretty good. Actually, what I think it could use is just a drizzle more of oil. That's more than a drizzle, I know. Um, just to get it going. It should be a little greasy, you know. It's And, you know, this is not a short dough, so you don't need to really like worry about things being really cold and like over overworking them, but you just want to get it like, look at that. That's actually exactly what you want. So this is, you know, y you don't really um, um, need it very, off, very, very much. Maybe like just like a five different things, but look how nice that looks. And that's ready. So that has to rest for about an hour before you, you, you roll it out. And um, so we're going to just let that, hang out here and it's best to let it rest um, room temperature I've found because otherwise it gets a little stiff if you put, if you put it in the refrigerator. So here's one I made um, about, you know, an hour and a half ago or something. So this is kind of ready. See, 
looking good. All right. So I'm, let me get rid of this. So we're gonna roll this out. Oh, see, it's really easy to use. That's what's so great about it. And you don't even have to flour the counter or anything because it's so greasy. Whoops. Um, shit. Yeah, this is good. So greasy, it just, see, it pulls over. It's like silly putty, right? I think you can see the fennel seeds in it and everything. And see how it's sort of like mottled looking, but that's what you want. Because actually, weirdly enough, you wouldn't believe it, but this this dough is actually very, very flaky when, when it cooks up properly. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Let's see, what should I use? Maybe the small one? Okay. Uh, all right, this, oh, this is good. Give it a flip again. Look at that silly putty. Anyway, so, yeah. Oh, I'm loving this music. It's relaxing, especially with rolling dough and listening to this. All right, is that ready? Yeah, this is ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna drape this into this uh, torta. Yeah, yeah. Looking good, looking very good. Okay, and do we have a scissor around here? I don't know. Anyway, so I made some filling for this. It, this particular one, this is actually Swiss chard. I made a filling with Swiss chard and some grana padana and some toasted almonds and fennel seed. And what else? I put something else in this. What was it? Oh, I know. I put in um, marjoram because marjoram is a very Ligurian kind of um, herb. And it, it's something that reminds me of Genoa. And I thought it would be nice to put it in this. So, okay. So what I'm going to do here is just spoon as... I probably made too much filling. I don't... And this has... It, this is sort of bound together with egg. A little bit of egg. Not a lot. And there's no cream or anything like butter like that in it. That might be enough, right? Does that look good? Yeah, look how beautiful this looks. It's very bright green. I blanched the chard first. A little bit more. Yeah, that's looking pretty beautiful. Okay, so, good. So what I need is a, something to cut this with. Oh my God, let me see. Let's just use this. So trim. Trim it. I usually use a scissor, but I don't know where the hell the scissor is. Yeah. This is like molto brusico, <laughs> which is why I really like it. All right, that looks pretty good. Yeah, so now what I want to do is just, uh, meh, 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 here's a little, little end piece. So just like give it a little, turn it over. That's what I like to do because the thing is, some of these things shrink, the um, dough shrinks. And if you leave a lot of end, uh, end pieces and just turn it up, you're not gonna get that problem. So I could just pull it in like that. Yep, beauty. And you can also make a, a closed uh, torta with this, which I often, when I'm making my pizza di scarola, um, I do that and I, I love that. But for some, with these, I like it open. That looks pretty good. Okay, I think it's ready to go in the oven, but I'm gonna just throw a little, just give it a little drizzle of olive oil, right? Just to keep it a little extra greasy, which is, you know, my identity, grease. And uh, yeah, so that's good. So our escrow torta, no, this is not escrow, our um, Swiss chard torta, I'm just like, fussing with it, which is stupid. Okay, it's ready to go in the oven. So I've got the oven on, I don't know, pretty high, like 425 or something. And I put, I, I put the oven, um, the rack way on the bottom. And so I'm gonna shove this in. So this is good because um, since I don't blind bake this, um, you need some good oven heat from the bottom to keep the crust crisp. And that's it. And that'll take about a half hour and let it go and it's gonna be... <laughs> It's gonna be beauty.